Hi everyone, today I want to show you how you can make a granny style scarf. So you see it's a pretty loose pattern and it's going to be super easy to do. So you're going to practice some trebles and you see that it looks wonderful and I love the structure, I love the colors as well. It's really perfect for the upcoming or the fall that we have right now in the upcoming winter. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. It's gonna be super easy even if you're a beginner. So I'm gonna show you what I used and how I did it. Stay tuned. So let's get started with the wool. So I have here the Creative Melange on Brown Wonder Ball. It's from Rico Design and you see the awesome colors that we have here. It's pretty big and we have a lovely color gradient that's perfect for the fall. So you see here many different shades from darker ones to lighter ones. Everything is in here. And yeah, let's see the details. It's called the melange and we have changing colors on here. It's for a five millimeter crocheting hook and I'll be using my six millimeter one, my favorite one. So then we have here 51% virgin wool, 49% acrylic, 200 grams, 640 meters. Okay, let's take the label out. And now we can look for the beginning from the middle as always. I think we're... Okay, there we go. This is our beginning, so now we can get started. So today we're gonna do a magic ring. And this is how it goes. So we're twisting it around our index and middle finger. Then we go through with our hook and we take the thread with us. There we go. So this is the ring. And now we can start with four chains. Okay, number four is done. So then we're gonna do three trebles. There we go, third one. Okay, so now we can start with three chains and then we're gonna start all over three trebles. And you can see the color change immediately, so it switches pretty quickly, and yeah. So you see here, I started with four chains, so I'm gonna end with that as well. So I'm gonna do one more chain and another treble. So three chains are the same height as one treble, so that's when we started with four trebles, four chains um, instead of the first treble. Now we can pull this tight, and I have my first little triangle. So let me explain the little triangle. So I started here on the right with four chains for the height, then three trebles, three chains in the middle, and three trebles again, and then one chain and one treble to end with. So the four chains at the beginning are replacing the one treble and the chain at the end, since we can't start with a treble right away. So now we can get started with the second row. So again, I'm gonna do four chains for the height. three and number four. Then we're gonna turn and now you see these bigger spots, bigger holes that we're gonna go through. So that's where we're gonna do three trebles. And the third treble. After each three trebles, we're gonna do one chain. 
then we are here on top so we're gonna go around this big spot and we're gonna do again three trebles one chain and again three trebles that's how our little triangle is gonna grow so middle always gets three 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 or three trebles three chains three trebles And the third one, there we go. So this is what we have for now. And now we can finish off the other side. So we need one chain. Then around the next big spot, we're gonna go in and we're gonna do three trebles. One chain and a treble to end with. There we go, so that's the four chains we started with, so that we have a symmetrical structure here. So this is the second row. Third row, four chains again, and then we're going to turn, then into this spot, three trebles and a chain. And now around this spot here we go and we do again three trebles and a chain. Now here in the middle, as always, we do three trebles, three chains and three trebles. So the middle always gets the most stitches. There we go, three trebles, a, a chain and three trebles. And then we're going to end with a chain and a treble. There we go. That was row number three. So you see the thing is pretty much the same from now on. We're always going to do three trebles and a chain in between. So that's on the side. On the tip or the top, as you wish, um, we're going to do always three trebles, three chains, three trebles. That's how the triangle grows. And then on the other side, same thing again, three trebles and a chain, and we end with a treble and a chain. So I'm going to do a couple more rows and then I'll be back with an update. So everyone, I want to show you what I have for now. So we have over two meters on the longest side, so it's a pretty big shawl this time. And you see how wonderful this looks? I can't even fit it into the scenery here so that you can see the whole thing. But yeah, I'm gonna finish off this last round. I have three trebles, a chain and a treble, and then I'll be completely done. There we go, so I'm pulling the thread out and tightening. You see how little I have left over, so this was perfect. Um, and yeah, now I just have to weave that in and 
and the beginning as well. That's um, the part where we started with the face shape. And that's pretty much it since we have such a big ball of yarn. So yeah, I hope you guys like the way this looks. I'm gonna try to fit it in at least section wise in here so that you can see all of the colors and um, how they change the structure as well. So the triangles or the tip of, tips of the triangle are all here. And yeah, it's really fluffy, it's really big, which I love. So I hope you guys enjoyed the day. And if you did, feel free to shoot a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel. And if you do, make sure you click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post something new. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.